We're waking up this Monday morning to a little bit of fog in some spots. Um, meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner in the Weather Center. We'll take a, a look at RDU this morning. And the fog has been coming and going. This particular view, uh, we can see the terminal a little bit better than we could earlier. Our temperatures heading out the door this morning are in a wide range. So up near the Virginia line, we're close to 40. Right around the Triangle area, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. And then down south, we're in the low 50s if you're, say, around uh, Fayetteville or so. Let's take a look at visibility. Visibility in the Triangle area has been pretty low this morning, especially at RDU. But it's likely to just, you know, come and go as we get through the day. Our si in Seidler City is three quarters of a mile. but uh, And in Rocky Mountain Wilson earlier this morning, it was also rather foggy. But it looks like it's improving there. Goldsboro is down to uh, a mile visibility. Uh, Sanford's at two mile visibility. So, again, you're going to run into varying conditions. And it may continue to improve this morning. Our dense fog advisory is in effect until 8 a.m. You can see a few light showers showing up on satellite and radar. We'll see a warm front crossing the area this morning and see this uh, band of light showers that rolls through between, say, 6 and 8. And then we're pretty dry underneath that front for a while, but then a cold front swings through this evening. After 5 o'clock, we start to see some scattered showers, and that's likely to continue through around 9 or 10 p.m. Heading out the door this morning, low 40s in the north, low 50s in the south, and mid to upper 40s uh, in the middle of the viewing area from Rocky Mount, Goldsboro to Durham and Raleigh. Highs this afternoon also widespread. We're looking at 60 degrees in Roxboro and South Hill and up to almost 70 around Fayetteville and Clinton. Uh, so just uh, beware, it's going to be a nice mild afternoon. But we have even warmer temperatures on the way. You can see the uh, dark red colors that move through lots of days in the 70s. It'll be especially warm toward the end of the week and then over the weekend we cool down. This will be the third week in a row that we've seen that same pattern where it's very warm during the week and then all of a sudden Saturday and Sunday are much cooler. 65 today is nowhere close to the record, but 77 tomorrow, not too far at 81, but the most likely chance that we'll see a record this week is Wednesday, looking at 76 and 78 is the uh, is the record high. So far we've had 10 days with temperatures at 70 degrees or warmer this month. The average is 2 to 3, and we have at least one more um, in our forecast before the month ends, so we'll probably end up with 11 just missing the record, but lots of warmth, of course, in our forecast. We also have a good chance of rain again on Thursday and Friday with our next front coming through, so we'll be tracking that for you as the week wears on.